some children, regardless of how parents teach them, regardless of how parents cry, they will not listen until the day they hit some. You hit something that your mama can get you up. You hit something that your dad cannot get you up. You hit something that even the money that your dad has will not take you up. Yes. And you surrender to God. Yes. And when you see his hand coming out to you, reaching out to you, yes. picking you up when everybody else has said that you are going to die, you are going to jail, you are going to be nothing. When everybody has given up, when the hand of God comes and pick you up and bring you up. right inside Jesus. We got people who have one leg in Jesus and another leg outside Jesus. We got people who have one hand in Jesus and one eye in Jesus and got an eye outside. They want to look at the things of God. They want to look at the things of the world. They talk about Jesus. They talk about gospel too. But I want you to know when you position yourself right in Jesus. When you position yourself right in Jesus, you become the righteous of God and you inherit everything that God has promised the righteous. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! It is good to be righteous. Hallelujah! And I'm so, I'm so happy and thankful that God is God is so old that he has seen all tricks of Christians. And you, there's no game you can play. He'll let you play, he'll let you like your mama, he'll let you do all kinds of things, but he will prepare this one thing that you will hit and find a full stop. Can go forward, cannot go back. When the service is over, we're gone. Can't remember nothing. But boy, when you hit the bomb, you go like, I remember back in 1965, that service pastor was preaching about, uh, I was preaching about sin. And he said, sin has pleasure, but for, for a moment. <laughs> I, yeah. You can remember this, the, the, the message that was preached 25 years ago. Because you just found yourself in the valley. You remember that message I preached? When you're on the mountaintop, everything's good. You've got ice cream all over you. You've got everything around you. Your head get big. You don't care about nothing. But boy, when God allows you to go through the fire. Yes. He gets your attention. But we thank God that He will allow us to go there so we can experience Him alone. Yes. And when we experience Him alone, we draw ourselves closer yes. and closer. And we position ourselves very well in Jesus. When we become the righteous, yes. then we hear all 
all these good stuff come? The book of Psalm 34, 15, he says, The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears listen to their cry. You start hearing all this good stuff about the righteous. When the righteous cry, the Lord hears, and he delivers them out of the troubles. You start hearing all of this good stuff coming from God. He says, he says, the Lord is near unto them who are of broken heart and save such as be of contrite spirit. The fervent prayer of a righteous man, a violent man. Listen to this, listen to this, listen to this. And I'll be done. I got I got one minute, one minute to go, one minute to go. James. Five. It's James 5, I believe. James 5. You know it. You don't have to go there. I think it's James 5, verse 6 or something. 16 or something. It says, it says, the fervent prayer of a righteous man Listen, people of God. It is not the prayer of everybody. You know how we ask everybody, Hey, uncle, can you pray for me? I'm, I have an exam tomorrow. Hey, hey, so and so, can you pray for me? I have this and this tomorrow. Hey, can you pray for me? Can I have your attention, please? I'm, I'm finishing up, I'm finishing up, I'm finishing up. And we, we ask everybody to pray for us. We ask everybody. But God says. The effect of prayer. Is that of a righteous man. It avoids man. It does a big work. And the Bible says. The Lord hears the, the prayer of the righteous. Yes, yes. Not everybody. And so, if we want to come and find ourselves positioned in righteousness of God, we must be able to understand that there is a process we have to go through. We have to work on our own salvation. We must strive to enter through the, 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 the narrow gate. We must understand that it is only through the righteousness that is higher than that of the Pharisees that we are going be able to enter into the kingdom of God. We, only, we also understand that when the righteous cry, the Lord is here. We also understand that we can only find the righteous when if we are positioned well in Jesus. Sometimes you have to be crushed. Sometimes you can still be a man and a woman of God, but God will want to continue to crush you. There is no measure how much you have to be crushed. If God want to make you the righteous, you You feel like he's not doing nothing for you. He wants to make you the righteous. And boy, when he gets you to the point of becoming the righteous, then he says, when you call unto me, I will answer you. When you call unto me, I will deliver you out of trouble. But I want to make you the righteous so I can hear you. If I don't make you the righteous, I won't be able to hear you. I got to crush you. And I got to crush you. And I got to crush you. I got to pray. Hallelujah, somebody. Give that a big hand, everybody. Stand up on your feet.